everybody, this is Mo, and I am one of the coaches here at Jump and Rope Gym, and I'm here with Cole and Kara, and they are two of our Mad Hops competitive jump ropers, and today we're gonna demonstrate some of the skills that you have to be able to do while in the beans class. So the beans program is the first program that you start when you're wanting to become a competitive jump roper, and it sort of builds your foundation for all the skills you need to have in order to compete. And so one of the skills we like to work with is single rope skills. So you're using your single rope, and we do various different kinds of tricks. So a lot of the different tricks that we like to do are footwork tricks, power tricks, crossing skills, and rope manipulation. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is footwork skills. We have 11 of those on the skill sheet, and Cole and Kira are gonna demonstrate them for you. All right, so the first trick is called a skier, and so you're gonna have your feet together to start, and you're gonna move from side to side with both feet while you jump. Okay. Now the next trick is similar to that. This one's called a bell. So you're gonna have your feet together to start again, but instead of going from side to side, you're gonna move front to back. Next we have a side straddle. So with this one, you're gonna move your legs apart and then back together and repeat that. Next one is a forward straddle. So similar to the side straddle, you're gonna move your legs apart and then back together, but instead of going out to the sides, you're gonna to go to the front and the back. All right, and the next one is an X straddle. So this one's similar to a side straddle in that your legs are gonna go out, but then instead of just bringing them together, you're gonna to cross them into an X. So next is a flapper, and you just swing your legs out and then back to the center and switch. And the next trick is a heel to heel. So you're gonna start with your feet together, and for every jump, you're gonna tap one heel out and bring it back to the middle and then switch to the other foot. And similar to that is a heel to toe. So this time, you're gonna stick your heel out and you bring your toe back on the same leg, then bring it back to the center and switch to the other foot for a heel and another toe. So the next trick is a can-can, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one leg and you're gonna raise it up, bring it back down, kick your leg out, and bring it back down. And then you're gonna switch to the other leg. So the entire trick all together is four separate jumps per leg. So the next trick is called a grapevine, and what you do is you start out with your right leg, and you take one step out, and then you take your left leg and step back behind the right leg. Right leg comes out again, and the left leg kicks, and that's four counts. And then that left leg swings back to the side, right leg goes behind left, left leg back out, and right leg kicks. And that's another four counts, so it's eight counts total. And the last footwork trick is jumping backwards. So you start with your rope in front of your feet, and then you're just gonna swing back behind you and jump your rope. Okay, so now moving on to rope manipulation, single rope skills, we have a single side swing. So you're going to have both of your hands close to each other as you swing over and go down and to the right, come back to the middle and take a jump and that's one single side swing. So then you can do the same thing on the left side. Okay, so the next one is a double side swing and similar to the single side swing, you're gonna keep your hands together and go up and swing to the right, but then you're gonna swing to the left right after and then do a jump in the middle. So the next trick is a crisscross. So you're gonna start with your rope behind you and as you reach up over your head, you're going to bring your arms down with one on top of the other, crossing at the elbows, keeping the cross close to your belly button and your hands down so that your loop gets under your feet. You're gonna jump through the loop and then as your rope comes back around, you uncross into a normal jump. The next move is a side swing crisscross. So you swing your rope up over your head, down to one side, and whatever hand is on the outside, 
That's the hand that is going to come into a cross and sit on top of the other arm. And then you're gonna jump through the loop. And as you come back around, the hand that's on the bottom is going to come out to do the other side swing and swing on top of the other arm. All right, so the next trick is called a caboose. And so you're going to swing your rope over your head into a cross. And as you are leaning down, you're gonna pull the cross in between your legs and cross behind your knees and swing the rope up over and jump through the loop. Then uncross your arms and swing into a backwards jump. So the next move is an arm wrap. So you're going to swing your rope up over your head and put your arm out to the side. And whatever hand is the furthest out, that's the arm that the rope is going to wrap around two times. So you swing your rope forward and over your arm twice. And then cross it back over your body so that way you can spin it backwards to unwrap it. And then bring your hands to the middle to take a jump. The next one is a rope release. So you're going to hold on to one handle and as you swing your rope over your head, you're going to release the other handle onto the ground. After that, you're going to do a slight flick of the wrist to pull your handle up towards your face so that you can catch it with the other hand. So as you throw your rope down, if you flick too hard, your rope's gonna go way over your head. And if you release your rope and you don't flick it hard enough, it's barely gonna get up. So you have to find the perfect happy medium so that it comes right up to your hand. So the next move is called a 360 turn. And with this, you're gonna start facing one direction and you're gonna take a normal forwards jump. And as your rope is coming back up, you're going to side swing down to the right while turning your body to the right into a backwards jump. As you land the backwards jump, you're gonna follow your arms back, continuing to the right until you do another single jump at the end. And that's a full revolution to the right. And then the next one is a 180 turn. And so for this, you're only gonna go half the way. So you're gonna do your single jump, swing to the right, into a backwards jump. And now you're facing the other direction. And that's a 180. So now moving on to the power tricks. The first one is a speed step. So how this works is you're going to alternate from your right foot to the left foot, making sure that the rope goes under each foot every time you lift it up. Uh, it's important to lift up your knees and jump on your toes as opposed to kicking your heels back and smacking your booty. All right, so the next trick is called a double under. So for this one, the rope is going to go around your body two times for every jump. And in order for that to happen, there's a couple things that you need to do. So first, you have to keep your elbows in and your wrists down towards your hips. And you wanna flick your wrists and push on your handles so that it goes one, two for every jump. So push, 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 push. And be sure to jump extra high and turn extra fast. All right, so for the last power trick, you're doing a push up. So for this, you're gonna swing your rope up over your head and as it's coming down, you're gonna come down into a squat with your handles down in front of you. Then you're gonna push your feet out or jump with your feet out so that you're doing a push up. Bring your knees back up and then take a jump afterwards. Thanks. Face <laughs> out. Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Dang it, you too. <laughs> All right, simmer. We got, oh my God. <laughs> All right, 